Meanwhile, Saul was uttering threats with every breath and was eager to kill the Lord's followers. So he went to the high priest. He requested letters addressed to the synagogues in Damascus, asking for their cooperation in the arrest of any followers of the way he found there. He wanted to bring them, both men and women, back to Jerusalem in chains. As he was approaching Damascus on, on this mission, a light from heaven suddenly shone down around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked, and the voice replied, I am Jesus, who you are persecuting. Now, go into the city, and you will receive your instructions there. The men with Saul stood speechless, for they heard the sound of someone's voice, but saw no one. Saul picked himself up off the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he was blind. So his companions led him by the hand to Damascus. He remained there blind for three days and did not eat or drink. Now there was a believer in Damascus named Ananias. Ananias. The Lord spoke to him in a vision, calling, Ananias! Yes, Lord, he replied. The Lord said, Go to the house of Judas on Straight Street, and ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul, for he is praying. In a vision he has seen a man named Ananias come to his place and place his hands on him and restore his sight. But Lord, I have heard many things he has done to the saints in Jerusalem. The government has given him authority to kill all those who call upon your name. Go, this man is my chosen instrument to proclaim my name to the Gentiles and their kings and to the peaceful people of Israel. I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. So Ananias went and found Saul. He laid his hands on him and said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you on the road has sent me so that you might regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Instantly, something like scales fell from Saul's eyes and he regained his sight. Then he got up and was baptized. Afterward, he ate some food and regained his strength. Paul relied on being a good person rather than relying on Jesus Christ. Paul's life drastically changed when he met Jesus on the road to Damascus. And by faith, Paul accepted Christ as his savior rather than relying on his own good deeds. If you live by faith, how will your life change?